The green light's been given for a $62,000 study to gauge the future of the abandoned Cotton Belt Railroad Bridge in Waco. Yep, that bridge has been an eyesore really for years, and there's hope that a three to five million dollar renovation project will help change all that. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live in Waco with what the future may hold for a piece of Waco's history. Hello, Jasmine. Well, hey, Chris and Leslie, the plan is to turn this historic Cotton Belt Railroad Bridge into a pedestrian bridge spanning the Brazos River. While many gathered over and under the suspension bridge, looking at fireworks last night, this old rusty abandoned bridge sat vacant and unnoticed. But according to City Center Waco, an effort is underway to bring the bridge to life, make it more of a park-like atmosphere, a place where people can meet and gather, and a place to spend time with family. We can envision uh, maybe food vendors, um, we can envision maybe yoga classes, you know, lots of different ways for people to gather and enjoy this beautiful space and its incredible views of the Brazos River. Last year, the Cotton Belt Railroad Bridge was donated to City Center Waco by Waco developer Rick Sheldon. The $62,000 engineering study will determine the bridge capacity. Those who frequent downtown and have to look at it every day say this is good news to hear. Waco's a, Waco's a beautiful place, you know. Uh, People like to just get relaxed and go go sit out and enjoy themselves. So I think it's going to be real good for Waco. As far as when the project will be completed, it may take a while. Not only is the project a complex one, but it's very expensive. So we'll be pursuing different funding sources. Um, there's a, a grant cycle in the fall where we'll be pursuing outside funding to help with the cost. But overall, the project is about you know a three to five million dollar project. And it's going to take quite a bit of time to assemble all of those dollars. The bridge will not be open to vehicular traffic. It'll just be used for bicycles, skateboards, and scooters, and things like that. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.